Well, Facebook, you can take our news. You can take our views, but you'll never take away Lord Riggs' best value horse racing tips for Rose Hill Gardens this Saturday, let me tell you. Now, before we get into them, ladies and genitals of Australia, um, allow us to go through the revised National Anthem Advance Australia Fair by yours truly as of 2.21, first rewritten 2.18. Australians all unite at last. Thanks, Aborigines. Our fertile soil gives wealth for toil. We're surrounded by three seas. Our land is blessed with native gifts of dreamtime customs rare. Forgive the past, we're friends at last. Advance Australia fair. Respect our brave Anzac diggers who fought with hearts and hands to save this common wealth of ours. One in five were killed in France, so all of us could live in peace, warm friendliness to share. Proud migrants have all joined our fight to advance Australia fair. With pride and equality rejoice, advance Australia fair. It's Lord Riggs, heavily revised 221 version of the original 1878 song by Peter Dodds McCormick. If you want to get in touch, lordriggs at yahoo.com. And now, ladies and genitals of Australia, the event you've all been waiting for. Lord Riggs' best value tips for Rose Hill Gardens this Saturday. It was 20 years ago today. Lord Riggs taught the band to play. Okay, let's get into it. Race one, ladies and genitals of Australia. Andermatt, seven to one. Race two, Blue Missile, 10 to one. Race three, Quick Thinker, 14 to one. Race four, Lelude, 20 to 1. Race five, Rocket Tiger, 20 to 1. Race six, Monegal, 120 to 1. Why are you tipping a 120 to 1 shot, Lord Riggs? Because I can. In race seven, Easy Campeasy, 120 to 1. Lord Riggs, what drugs are you on? The very best. When only the best will do. I'm tipping 120 to 1 shot because I think it's got a shot at coming third or fourth. All cylinders to go close to winning in race 8 at 6 to 1. And wheelhouse, the lucky last to get out stakes. Race 9, 9 to 2. Cheerio call to my dear friend Darren Flindell. One of the best race callers on planet Earth in my humble Australia's blessed with a lot of good race callers, I must add, including um, a lovely lady from Melbourne who travels up to do the Hillsville Greyhounds and Ballarat Greyhounds occasionally. Her name escapes me, but you Victorians know whom I'm referring. They're the best value horse racing tips for Lord Riggs this Saturday. Round 8 of 52 in the media tipping competition for 221 and yours truly is on top of the table the leaderboard has my name at the very top in the last two weeks it's taken me a little while to catch up to everyone but i'm up near the lead now and i'm running a cracking pace now in uh, signing off we must say these very important words gamble responsibly if you're having a flutter and you're a pensioner on the bones of your ass, only bet with the bones of your ass. Have $3 a win, $7 a place on one selections. Or if you're gainfully employed and you're earning a, earning a very good income, go $30 a win, $70 the place. Or if you're one of these miners, these rich bastards who we all like to support because uh, we're not listening to big mouth Greta, telling us that uh, coal power is uh, has no place 
in the mix anymore. Look what's happening to Texas. They're freezing their balls off and 20 are dead overnight. Good one. Um, we suggest that you do uh, 30 the win, 70 the place. And if uh, one of the selections comes in, in into under 2 to 1, maybe 100 the win. Now, if you're a pensioner, of course, $3 to win, 7 the place. And if it's a favourite, hot favourite, under 2 to 1, maybe $10 to win. Don't risk any more capital than that. This is Lord Riggs of Oz, the seventh great-grandson of King Charles II, the ninth cousin of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. And uh, please send your prayers and good thoughts to the Duke of Edinburgh as he's admitted himself walking into uh, the King Edward uh, Hospital for observation. I think he might be coming down with suspected pneumonia uh, at 99 years of age. And seeing how fit he looked uh, just a few short months ago, Lord Riggs is convinced he'll come through this unscathed. But uh, fingers crossed for our politically incorrect Duke of Edinburgh. Anyway, this is Lord Riggs signing off. Good luck at Rose Hill this Saturday.